and in this hall, the Pasquale Bonas concert band of Serignola is rehearsed in the Easter week hymn. Which one is, according to you, the most moving hymn among this procession's music? Well, the most moving hymn, well, they're almost all the same, but probably the Pietà is the one that makes you feel saddest when you play, perhaps because it's the most stirred and the first procession. People, when they hear it, they start crying, as it is very, very beautiful when you listen to it. And it is not just a new one, but it goes back in time. It's almost a century that we have been playing it. The Hollywood processions are characterized by the Red Cross. I know you have a trunk just here. What's in this trunk? Well, it's a poultry, you know. But what are they exactly? I put some lentil seeds in a container, then I put it in the trunk, which is dark, not like in the open, like in the countryside, so that they grow nicer to look at. This is a trunk where I put all my sepolcri. And what's in here? For a month I keep them always shut. I open it when I water them, and then I close it again. Let's have a look at them. Can you take them out so we can look at them? These are the pots, and this, give it to me. Give it to me. And this is the cross. So you planted the lentils. Every four or five days, I used to water them. Then I started, and they started growing. So this is not wheat. They are only lentils. Last year, I did wheat. Do you change every year? Next year, I will do something different. Lentils, wheat, what else? Lentils, wheat, what do you say? Chickpeas. Another kind of plant. Yes. Barley, broad beans, whatever you like it. Of all colors. But the color is always yellow. Always yellow, as they're always in the dark. What do you do with them then? Then, in the afternoon, I'll take them to the church, and the priest will put them in front of the altar, so that when people will go to the church, they will see the sepulchre we made. What's this tree for? For Jesus Christ. Is it for the procession? Yes. Red. Here it is, madam. There is Professor Cipriani who gave the new name to this red character. Red Christ. I say this because in our distant past, 
We used to call him Cyrenia. It wasn't the correct name, as the Cyrenia is the man who helped Christ in carrying the cross during the Calvary. But the Cyrenia was not wearing a thorn crown, so it's wrong to call this red character Cyrenia. So, the second name, in other words, the one of the Red Christ, is the correct one. This one, in fact, has been topic of discussion among the people of Serignola. The tunic, why does he wear a red tunic? In any case, red is the color of blood, which Jesus Christ has shed it for the whole of humanity. The Friday's procession, as I remember it from my youth, was a kind of spring piece as all the girls used to come out wearing their new colorful spring dresses. I remember as a kid, we used to be taken to the procession to see this Christ dressed in red used to shock us, and something seems to have been engraved in me. Holy Thursday, the up in I would be so sorry. A lot, yes, a lot.
Twenty years. When did you begin performing the Red Cross? I was 16 the first time I interpreted this role. Why did you do it? Well, the Red Cross, well, I don't interpret any cries. What I feel is that I interpret the role of the Cyrenaeal as I began with a specific reason. Because of the enthusiasm, a reason from a kind of instinctive need, a kind of sentimental reason. Even more, because I was only 16 when I started interpreting this role. I don't just play the right cry, but I live in a specific Christian context within my parish church. And do you pray during the interpretation? Yes. I pray alone when there is silence while I pray together with all the others when there is communion praying. I carry the cross this way, as I think also the others do, without any model to follow. The cross is heavy. It's not light. And so, as time goes on, I think it becomes spontaneous not to walk with a regular pace while carrying the cross. So there is a sense of physical tiredness. This is my experience at least. Now, I don't know about the others. Is there somebody who helps you during the walk? Yes. Generally, there is somebody who has interpreted the, the Red Christ before, who is generally a close friend. Why do you need some physical help? After all, he can't help you to carry the cross. But he can see the lot. The person who walks next to you can see better than the person who carries the cross. As personally, I'm limited by the hood. The hood, in fact, though it has two holes where the eyes are, it doesn't allow a good view of the street. Easter Friday morning, the Misteri procession.
close your shop as the Madonna goes by, yes. So for a while you won't work. Yet it is a working day. Yes, it's a working day, but it's tradition that we stay close. My son has died, so when the procession goes by, the Virgin Mary and Jesus, my son died. And so the evening the funerals were on, all the people were outside crying and shouting as my son was inside that. That's it. I feel sad because Jesus has died. What are you waiting for here? That the procession arrives, the best part, when Jesus Christ falls down on the floor with the cross and the procession ends. Do you come every year? Yes, it's obvious, it's custom. In this area, they are all very devout. So tradition goes on forever. What do you think of the Red Christ? Well, this is the best part, the most moving part, that the Red Christ arrives at the church's entrance, then falls, falls on the floor. We are waiting for Jesus, who is about to come, and when he falls on the stairs. Yes, I am from Cerignola, but I've never been so close, really close. Look, he turns, he turns. Look, look, look. How moving. As a cultural representative, uh, how do you see this religious event in the wider context of the annual events which take place in Cerignola? Cerignola is known as a native place of Di Vittorio. Do you see a relationship between Di Vittorio and the Red Christ? Probably many people, especially the old ones, may see Di Vittorio as a savior. But personally, as I am a believer, I have a completely different view. In other words, man cannot be a savior as such. For us, the savior is Jesus Christ. There are no doubts about it. It's obvious that Di Vittorio has meant a lot for the people of Cerignola because of his personal history, for his message. He has meant really a lot for the improvement of the conditions of our people and, the, and for the consequence that the improvement has meant. And for this, the, the memory is a true one within people's hearts and is a certainly a genuine memory.
you work as a laborer. For how many years did you do this job? I did this job since the age of 10 till the age of 65. And now you retired completely. I have retired in 1972 due to invalidity and physical problems. And it's four years that I haven't been doing anything as I've worked for 65 years. What do you think of these ceremonies of Easter week? Those who believe in them can follow them. Those who don't can just walk along the main town street. And this is nothing new. So there is a particular character in this procession, this Christ wrapped the... What does it mean to you? What does it remind you of? When I was uh, young and I helped in the San Domenico church, uh, I even participated to a dinner playing the Judas role, as this was the part given to me. The coat was red, while the flag was red with a white cross. Today, everything has changed. White flag with a red cross. And the coat, I don't know what it is now, and it is 40, 45 years since I've been last in church. As the parish of San Francisco, how do you see this uh, celebration of Easter week, and in particular of the Red Christ? First of all, I want to remind you that the San Francisco Parish Church, and in particular one of the chapels which uh, is within its territory, the one of St. Augustine, is involved in one of the processions which characterize the Easter week. Therefore, my relationship with the procession is strongly linked, at least as a priest and organizer, to one of them. It's the procession which takes place on Friday, soon after the liturgical celebration of the Passion, and it goes out in between the morning procession, that one of the Misteri, and the night procession called of the Red Christ, which at present goes out of the Carmine Church and is linked to another chapel, that of the Purgatory. Easter week, this blessed palm grows in the earth waiting for a year. From the church is given for the devout people. Then they exchange greetings. Those friends close to each other, families make peace. There is no longer problems. This is the Easter week. And children are happy. Few days are left, and Easter is getting closer. In any case, every year you change the procession itinerary. Why? Yes, as, for it is, as far as it belongs to my parish church, I change it. If it's true that the procession is something through which we should our faith, so why should we do it only through the main street and not in those areas where we normally don't go? And what do you think is the relationship between the figure of the Red Christ and the official church? Well, I would only say one thing, starting from what Professor Cipriani has written in his book, Il Cristo Rosso, where among the various hypotheses, he talks of this, this conflict between uh, the Red Christ and the official church. An hypothesis, as I am convinced, if I understood correctly, which is rather weak for a simple reason. It would be rather strange, in fact, that the church would allow within an, uh, itself an event generated and organized by, by it, a character which she knows to be in conflict vis-a-vis -vis the official credo. So I would exclude this type of relationship. Can you see any relationship between Christ and the Vittorio? Well, yes, I would say yes. As those who defend the people are always killed or they die in an awful, desperate manner. Are you laboring? Yes, I've been for
for a long time. Since when? It has been 35 years. And tonight, are you here to look for a job for tomorrow? No, luckily I have a job for tomorrow. In this period, they are celebrating the Red Cross procession. What do you think about it? I've never heard about this Red Cross. You never heard of him? Of Jesus Christ at night? Yes, but of Jesus Red? No, never. Of the Red Dead Christ? But you said the Red Christ. Red Christ, you've never heard of him. And the fact that he wears a red tunic? Well, that yes, we've always known this problem. And everybody follows him on Easter Friday in the evening. And what do you think of the Red Christ? What do you think of this figure? But who is this Red Christ? The protagonist. Ah, yes, those who follow. Well, and it's a symbol. And according to you, the figure of uh, the Red Christ can be similar to the one of the Vittorio. Well, that's a different thing. What do you mean? That's a character and this is another. One reminds us of Jesus and the other is a person who knows and is known in our village, a very good person. But I don't know this Red Christ, but I heard of the Vittorio from my parents. They said he did a lot for the agricultural workers. Christ was just like the Vittorio, the same. They both want equality and brotherhood. Practically today, equality and brotherhood do not exist. Well, I was 10 when I saw the Vittorio, and he was going around the village, and he was, uh, we saw him as kids and followed him a lot, like many other people did. What do you remember of the procession of the Vittorio and of all the things of the past? Well, the processions existed, exist, and will always exist. As a tradition of a holiday, it stays the same. As far as work is concerned, things have changed. Life has changed completely. May I ask you a question? How old are you? 48. Easter Friday evening the desolata procession. We live in Germany. It's the first time we see this since. But you are from Cerignola. Yes, from Cerignola. After 16 years, it's the first time we came. Did you find it changed? After so many years, we've seen some changes. We were young, so we see how things are now. Very different. New. Dio, what do I think? I think it's a procession which reminds you of everything. Of what? Of God. Do you like it? Yes, a lot. Which is the one you like most? All of them. But this is the one I like most. Virgin Mary and the Red Christ. What do you think of them? It's a Cerignola tradition. Do you think 
think there is a relationship between Christ and the Vittorio? Well, this I don't know. I don't know about this between Christ and the Vittorio. What do you mean by Christ and the Vittorio? What relationship do you think there is? Isn't that a social matter and uh, Christ and the Vittorio? How do you feel now that you've finished? I feel better than when I started, and it is not a suffering. Once, uh, one does it with a kind of pleasure. It's not a sacrifice. Do you get some help from the music during the course of your interpretation? No. We walk naturally, at least according to each of us. We don't act in order to interpret Christ, as one does not interpret Christ. We perform a ritual, not Christ. Let's not joke about it. Is this the same tunic that your father wore? Yes. As a tradition, it's always the same, only the material has changed, but the idea is the same. As a dress, even if you wear it only once a year, after 13 or 40 years it wears out, and so we had to make a new one. And who makes it? We made it. The children. My mother actually made it. We bought the material, obviously, and my mother saw it. And according to you, why is this tunic red here in Cirignola? This I wouldn't know. I only know that my father wore it red, and he passed it on to us. We, as it was worn out, we made it new, but always of the same color. And the cross is, does that belong to the family? No, the cross belongs to the church.
Friday night. The Dead Christ Procession.